Mag by MIDI is an adaptive tool that enables cerebral palsy patients and others with muscle control disabilities to express themselves in new ways. Our product combines functions of four external accessories into one device, allowing our users to achieve much more than ever before. The device offers new means for cerebral palsy patients and alike to express their creativity in areas of computer games, music, digital arts and writing. As of now, we are still in the middle of the prototyping stage, however, we are able today to demonstrate some of the features that we are aiming to include in our final product. Magpie MIDI consists of two main components, the base unit which is responsible for interfacing electronics with the computer, and the harmonica unit which the users puff or sip into the device and move their heads in order to interact with their computers. To use the mouse, the user can simply move their head to move the cursor, similar to using a joystick. Puffing into the device will left click and sipping from the device will right click. With this feature, the user can carry out everyday computer tasks that involve using a mouse. Unlike a conventional harmonica with 10 air holes, our device has 13 air holes. This enables Magpie MIDI to type out the full 26 alphabet letters without the need for additional buttons or controllers. Puffing into the first air hole for example will type out the letter A, and sipping from the first air hole will type out the letter B. Last but not least, Magpie MIDI can also be used as an external MIDI device to play digital instruments. At the moment, our device is able to play single notes from C3 to A4. With puffs and sips enabled however, our users will be able to play up to 26 notes. We've also added a MIDI potentiometer so that it can be used to control sound design parameters such as volume, gain, kill, pan and reverb. So with this brief introduction to our product, we would now like to talk about the beginning of this project, elaborate on key design decisions we've made so far, and discuss our plans for future improvements. In mid-July, I was mostly stuck at home looking for projects to work on that could help people during this unprecedented time. Around this time, I came across the Hackaday Prize on the Hackaday website. I instantly liked the way the prize had organized real-world problems into tangible projects challenges. I thought that if I could participate in one of the challenges, I could be sure that I'm contributing my time and effort to something meaningful. I also took this opportunity to work with my good friend Pato, whom I met during one of my past internships. We discussed various ideas and possibilities, but at the end, we settled on our current idea that addressed the design challenge from the United Cerebral Palsy Los Angeles to design high quality tools and devices for creative expression. There were two sources of inspiration in my idea. The first was a TED talk by Jeff Pardy, where he introduced an especially designed SIP and PATH gaming controller for disabled computer gamers. The second was from seeing street performers play the harmonica hands-free while playing the guitar at the same time. I combined and expanded on these ideas by trying to take an advantage of the harmonica form with multiple air holes for user inputs. Over multiple discussions and research, we have made many design decisions to give our device the best chance of becoming something that will make a meaningful impact on our users. We know that cerebral palsy has a wide range of effects on motor controls, and this is different for everyone. Although we know that this device alone will not be able to support every type of user, we want to do our best to help as many people as possible. One way we're planning to do this is to make everything, including the hardware, electronics, and the software, open source. By making everything open to the public, we believe that a community of users and developers could come together and share hardware and software customizations. In our research, we have seen many simple SIP and pass switch devices costing over $400. By making everything open source, our device will be cheaper, more flexible, and more customizable than its proprietary counterparts. This is not to mention the additional capabilities of Magpie MIDI, such as its ability to be used as a USB keyboard and a MIDI musical instrument device. Instead of for-profit companies developing this product in the interest of running the business, Magpie MIDI will be driven by a community of users with pure intentions of developing this device for themselves, their families, or someone within their own community. We have also kept in mind about keeping our device as universal as possible. 
For this reason, we have used one quarter UNC threads in our mounting system, which is the most common type of thread used in consumer grade cameras. This will allow various camera accessories such as flexible tripods or stands to be used in conjunction with our device. As mentioned already, we are still in the middle of the prototyping phase. Our current prototype device cannot do everything we intend to include in our final product. First, we plan on writing a code for the device to be used as a gaming controller. With 13 air holes, a joystick, and a potentiometer, our device will be able to do everything that a conventional console-style gaming controller is able to do. This will be the fourth core function of our device in addition to a USB mouse, USB keyboard, and MIDI instrument. We will be adding haptic feedback to our device. With haptic feedback driven by vibration motors similar to the ones found inside phones, the user will find it easier to interact with the device. We plan on creating a device software for customizing what each of the airways in the device does. Many softwares require shortcuts such as pressing Ctrl and W at the same time. Using the software, the user will be able to program this without a single line of code. We also want to support multiple Mac by MIDI to be used simultaneously. For example, many MIDI musicians like to have a MIDI keyboard and a MIDI drum pad or a MIDI knob placed next to each other. By adding this feature, Mac by MIDI will expand its application to an even wider range of uses with demanding tasks. We've only mentioned some of the features and improvements we're planning to add, and we are always coming up with more. To get the full idea of the work we have done so far, and the improvements we plan on making, please read the project description page on our Hackaday project page. It's been our pleasure working on this project so far, and every bit has felt worthwhile. Thank you for watching our video until the very end, and we hope to hear back from the Hackaday community.